In the next few minutes, I will explain how to create learning content. The learning content for PAUK is stored in files on your hard disk. So it's quite easy for you to send these files to your friends, so they can also learn it or they can edit these files. To create these files, you can either click on that white box with new, then a dialog box opens and you can give the file a name. Or you can go via file, new and do the same. I go now in uh, this folder here and I call this file uh, solar system because I already have pre something prepared for the solar system. And you save it. Now what we have done is we have created the file on the hard disk but there is still no answer and no question in uh, this file. So what we have to do first is to click on the plus button and this plus button will give us the editor where we can create our first flashcard. In the upper part of the window you see the question uh, field, the editor for the question and in the lower part uh, you see the answer uh, for this card. So I already have prepared something, I can copy paste in. Uh, so let's ask this question now. What are the planets of our solar system? Uh, this is the question and in the answer I can give the planets of our solar system. This is the most simple way how you can uh, create these cards. You could now save it uh, and that's it. But of course we have more possibilities, we have more functionality. So I go back and edit the card and I will explain uh, the other fields and the other options you have here. First I will explain the hint field. The hint field is in the upper right corner. For this specific question, I write an 8 in it. And why do I write an 8 in it? This 8, of course, is a hint to the answer. And we have, in this answer, we have 8 planets. So you know when the question shows up, you have to remember 8 facts to know the answer 100%. So, and this is really helpful because uh, if you are on uh, fact number 7 or 6 and you're not sure if you're done or not, then the 8 gives you a hint that you have to try a little bit harder and you have to remember an additional two planets. So you're not giving up and uh, this really helps you to remember better the answers and you know not giving up too quickly. Let's explain the other fields here. We have a couple of them. Uh, first, they are nearly almost uh, present in the answer and the question. So first we have the, the, the link to, a, to an internet, where you can uh, paste an internet link in, that can be a YouTube video, that can be a Wikipedia page, whatever. Uh, and uh, that's just additional information if you want to look up uh, or back up your card with uh, additional information, you can do that here. Then you have the audio button. The audio button is also very useful if you want, don't want to read the questions, if you just want to listen to it. If you don't want to listen to the question and the answer and not uh, reading on your tablet or whatever. Uh, so this is uh, just an additional uh, support uh, how to learn your cards. Next, let's go to the latex button. Behind the latex button, you have an editor for mathematical formulas. Uh, the issue with mathematical formulas is always that they are not displayed properly on the screen. So here you have a possibility how to write in an easy way uh, your math formulas or your chemical formulas or whatever and paste it in uh, into the, uh, the question or the answer. I will make how to do that. I will make a video later. And finally, we are uh, here at the picture uh, place where the picture is placed. Uh, I will paste in a picture now in the, the answer for this question. So you have here the uh, possibility to upload any picture from your hard disk into that square here. Or you can uh, take just something which is on your screen from a Word document or from whatever. Uh, and with the scissor, uh, you can choose the part of the screen which you want to paste in here. So we will do that right now. I open here. 
picture I have prepared. Let's move that uh, away a little bit that you can see it. Okay. Uh, so if I go with this uh, scissor, if you cut me out um, this part of the screen, you can make it big, of course. You will see you have here a select button. So you'll just take your mouse, make your square, bang, and select it, and then it will put in into the right space. In this field, you have the card number stored. If you want to change the card number, you can change this number here. What it does is it moves the card number one to the place, to the fourth place in the deck. This can be very useful. Let's say if you have 20 cards and you learn them a little bit and you realize, okay, you have forgotten an important card, um, but you don't want to have this, in card, this card on the number 21. So it's the 21st, which you will ask because it's not logically on the right place. Probably logically the right place would be the third, uh, the third card or the fourth card like now. So you want to move it down. So you can do this in this field. You can give this card a new number and then the sequence in which this card appears is uh, place four and not place 21. Let's put this back to one because uh, we only have one card in that deck, which makes sense. Good. Let's discuss the different options we have uh, to create an answer. In this case, you have the most simple kind of answer you can have. The question is just displayed and after a while, when you review the answer, you choose if you had the answer correct or if, if you had the answer wrong. So you have two, two buttons. Uh, if you had it correct, you press the correct button. If you had it wrong, you press the wrong button. That's it. The second option we have here is uh, the keying in of the answer. So if uh, the second option is uh, chosen, uh, then the user is forced on his keyboard to give the answer uh, in a written way. That's the second type of answer. And the third type of answer is the single choice option or multiple choice option. So you can pre-formulate the answers and then the user can uh, choose with a click which answer was the uh, wrong answer or the right answer. Yes, and that's it. Uh, what's left is that you save the card in the deck. So this card is now saved in the deck. You can you see, you can make bigger the, the picture here as well. It's saved on the deck and what you have to do is, again, to save it back to your hard disk, you can give it a new file or in this case just press save and then the file is saved and you can easily share these files with your friends or use it on another computer or what.